Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you God for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so what's going on for Aquarius right now? Okay, so we've got the Two of Swords. Looks like um, so Aquarius. You could just be blocking something out. You already know that this person or this thing you're eventually going to have to make a decision on. But right now, you just aren't. You are not ready. Um, or you just don't have time for it. Or you don't want to make time for it or it's too stressful or you're gonna have to you know do all this mental agility and compromising and negotiation and it's a power struggle and you just you just have put it off this could be a decision about to start your own business this could be a decision about leave your job or stay or find another job or move or this could be a decision about a particular person do I give them another chance or do I keep them shut out because you could be like the high priestess right now. It's like intuitive awareness, but not doing anything about it. You kind of like place this blindfold on yourself because you don't feel like dealing with it right now, whatever this may be. Um, if you come, it says that opportunity for reconciliation is on the table, but it's up to you if you want this. Uh, on the other side of this, uh, maybe... Um, if this is like career or business related, this could be very um, lucrative, fruitful, abundant, uh, prosperity could happen on the other side of this. Maybe this is what you're not seeing. Uh, let's see. Wow, can't make it up. The Wheel of Fortune. So what you don't see is that maybe this could be uh, a turn of events, a chance, destiny, fate. Um, this could be Maybe the universe aligning things so that you can take necessary action so that you can move or make a move. This could be in regards to career. If it is or business, it says this is the time. This is the time to do that thing. This is the time to bring it into fruition. It's like Perfect alignment, perfect timing. What is the will of fortune here? Is this love? Is it career? Or is it both? So you got the queen of swords. It definitely could be career. This is a time for you to make some changes if this is what you want to do. The seven of cups. So this is a time for you to cut out maybe wishful thinking, overindulging, thinking about it, doing nothing, uh, dreaming about it, taking no action listening to someone who's maybe selling you a bill of goods or nothing and this might be a time for you to get very honest with yourself queen of swords and cut this off get it out of your life it's not adding value it's not yeah it's it's not adding value it's, it's not helping you prosper or go up or um it's not helping your life right now. You know, it's not doing anything. If, if, um, if it is doing something, it could be negative. You know, the queen of swords is about understanding that she wants a new life. Therefore, she's got to really be firm in, you know, cutting off the old existence. Like she's got to make a, a, like a definitive line between old and new. And, uh, that's what the universe is wanting you to do the opportunity ace of pentacles to start something foundational whether this is a relationship or if this is um a business this is opportunity for you to to get started on you this could be strength training this could be training in the gym this could be you know better health and vitality of course this could be the start of a new business this is you coming out of that wishful thinking that fog or maybe listening to, believing what other people told you about yourself. This is coming to self-actualization where you 
are you saying I can actually do this I am actually doing it or I am actually capable of this is self-actualization this is also manifestation of some maybe big wish or dream too because we got dreams and then we got the manifestation of so this would be it coming to pass this would be the 3d this is like psychological development so this is your mind being so far developed knowing that you can do something that you can accomplish that you are capable and then you see you know uh, the manifestation of that thing that you were trying to bring in this is somebody really getting to a place of understanding maybe how to use universal law this could even be psychic abilities this could be understanding energy I heard the law of conservation physics I don't know you could be into anything seven of cups um, make sure you do your research before you part with any money that you're gonna put out in terms of maybe I don't know starting something you know, paying for a gym membership it could be as simple as that make sure you do your research before you put the money out we got the star card showing up so we got you showing up in your own reading Aquarius um, these cards are raggedy but yeah, one of my favorite decks I should buy it again but at the same time I like this I don't know why um, this is really understand this is like a big wish fulfilled to the star and the ace of pentacles like this is extreme wish fulfillment. What is the Ace of Pentacles in the star? The Ace of Cups. So this is like spiritual awareness, spirituality being filled with spirit. I don't know if you got like some major download that helps you understand who you are. Maybe in the spiritual realm. Maybe understanding that you have high ranking. Understanding that you've done a lot of work. Let's see. The Queen of Cups. Yeah, understanding that... Um, so this, this is like reading to me like intuitive awareness. This is understanding that, um, I don't know, your position. Uh, again, psychic abilities, understanding that you're a gift to the world or you have something to give the world. Understanding your layered personality. Understanding that you have the tendency to kind of withdraw because you feel on a different level. You feel deeply what else do we have for Aquarius here the two of pentacles see a lot of two showing you could be seeing two two or maybe even two 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 it's a lot going on around you surrounding you you have to balance things out you're balancing it out like um perfectly with the two of pentacles this could be the you know transferring money this could be again intuitive awareness learning on the job doing two different things at the same time learning how to maybe use your psychic abilities but also maybe I'm learning how to use them learning what for this could even be like learning uh, I heard alchemy or herbology or something of that nature you know, Knight of Pentacles horticulture or learning what to use i don't know it's like how you're going to start something yeah page of swords definitely a lot of learning knowledge knowledge based uh, reading books asking questions being you know inquisitive curiosity about a certain subject so that you can see forward movement whatever this is it's a yes answer something could come into you maybe even intuitive awareness within the next one to 11 days the three of wands and then you make some movement you put something out to the world the hierophant i don't know if you're guiding other people or you will be or you'll be a guiding light or you're gonna you know institute bring in something bring something to law or bring it into law or you're gonna be more structured in how you approach something what is the hierophant i don't know if you get like a download if you're a teacher or you could be studying spirituality and then yeah high priestess you bring it into the world like you get a download and then you you tell the world about it how to use it alchemize how how to use whatever this is i don't know it's like some of you are really getting some into some big intuitive hit 
and then you're going to bring it to the world. What else is this going to bring the Aquarius? I knew it was going to bring you money. Six of Pentacles. People are going to want to, you're going to help people come out of a place of lack, you know, being left out, um, being in need. You're going to help people heal. Also, people are going to want to pay you, patronize you, your business. Three, yeah, six of pentacles. This could bring you wealth. This is the opportunity for wealth. I don't know, so you get some intuitive download that brings you wealth. Like, I don't know, the universe tells you how to put together some potion spill. I don't know, you know. Yeah, eight of wands. It's like over, these aren't people in your face. So these are like people maybe over the internet, the phone. I don't know, it's like people want they're looking you up or they're looking for information to come from you. Um, whatever you have brings about maybe law of attraction or in, like um, intention. If you help people set intentions or ten of cups. This intuitive download brings the opportunity for wealth very fast. Obstacles are being removed. Whatever you were trying to bring into you, it comes to you. Your hard work pays off uh, with the Ten of Cups. It could even be money, rewards coming to you. Happiness, the stage being set for absolute happiness. So it's just like the universe setting you up for happiness. Maybe even for rest, for of swords, vacation, um, meditation, taking a break. Um, What else do we have here? Justice. So it's like you get justice by doing nothing but being in alignment. So it's like you, you come into a place of rest. Okay. And all that you lost or all that was taken from you is restored karma. Uh, cause and effect, something that you've done or you were doing. You're going to get the effects of it. This is like a high vibe in Aquarius. If you're here for love and who shot John and who's cheating, this will probably not resonate. But this is like for somebody who's done like a lot of spiritual work or who is doing a lot of spiritual work, you could be getting a lot of downloads. It's going to lead you to the road of like um, wealth, okay? Extreme wealth for some of you. Um, it's going to happen fast for you. Like obstacles were in your way, but it's like, I'm hearing like boulders, but then they're going to be like smashed, removed. And then life is going to start to happen fast. You may even move, move your family, make a move, or it just brings you to absolute happiness um, because of something that you decided to do. Then maybe even universe law. Okay. I heard universal law, definitely universal law cause and effect, but a spirit uh, gives you, you know, what is due unto you, karma, justice, because you were counted out, discounted, taken advantage of, um, wow, temperance card, it's like angelic help, presence, I don't know if your spirit guides are, yeah, they're speaking to you, they're going to help you help others, you could be using your gifts, back to alchemizing, maybe your gifts, this could be like heightening your spiritual gifts. I don't know if they're to come in and speak to you and speak through you, um, give you something that puts you in a place of expertise with the emperor card. Or this is like God also, um, sp spirit, angels, and then God um, blessing your gift. Maybe, yeah, giving you absolute clarity in regards to your gift and what you're here for or back to spiritual ranking. King and queen. Some of you are kings and queens and you come from royal bloodline or you need to look up what a crown is or crown or def definition of crown. You could be a spiritual teacher or you're on the road to that. You've learned a lot of lessons. You have nothing to lose here. Therefore, you're taking action in regards to something new developing. What's new developing for you is maybe that spiritual gift or being alchemized or being heightened or like, I don't know, it's like you're going to regeneration is what I just heard. 
All right, let's see what else do we have for Aquarius. So we've got newborn baby. So something is going to be made new in you. Wow, can't make it up. And then spiritual came out like a spiritual gift. I don't know if it's going to be heightened. You're going to get a message. I just said that from the universe um, that maybe you need to run or you need to leave something behind or... Um, Wow. And then abundance. Uh, so abundance is the act of allowing it to um, more than enough to come to you. You don't have to chase abundance. It finds you. Uh, this could be Venus. Let's see where Venus is in your astrological chart, what it means to you. You have Taurus or Lib yeah, Libra in your chart significantly. Maybe in one of your major three. Let's see what else is going on here. Of course, it looks like some of you is about to be blessed with a big ass spiritual gift that's going to bring the money. People are going to be saying, okay, I need to be aligned with this Aquarius, this person, because they're speaking truth. And it's definitely coming from a different realm. And um, it, it, it could even be healing, healing truth, you know? Let me help people heal, come out of turbulence, come out of a very um, a stuck place, come out of the dark. Maybe you help people, sex worker, OnlyFans, exotic pay for play, having an affair with a, a co-worker. So here we go with the drama. Um, you might even get spiritual gift in regards to helping people who are going through these situations, holding back my feelings for you because I don't know how to express myself. I also want you to chase me, but you're in the place of abundance, Aquarius. So you don't, you're, you're not chasing anything. It's going to come to you if it's meant for you. Somebody wants you to chase them. Somebody could have been having sex with a coworker, um, and the coworker could be a sex worker, or maybe purports themselves to be that, or this is their extra job. This is what they do, the extracurricular activities. I don't know. Let's see what else is going on here for the Aquarius. Yeah, somebody's chatty, petty, dramatic, and gossipy, a warmonger. So this is somebody who creates drama. Um, they act. So there are six positive signs, six negative signs. The six positive signs doesn't mean that they're like super positive people, but it means that they can thrive, okay, in positive settings or they thrive better in positive settings. And then we have the six negative signs. Doesn't mean that they're negative people, but they can thrive better in negative environments. Like they can still rise to the top. They can still rise to the occasion. They can still, you know, um, maneuver. You, you've seen it maybe in toxic corporate settings. You're just like, how can this person be here for so long? They've been here 20 years and there's, you know, they climbed up the ladder or they can deal with the drama or whatever. You know, um, everybody's wired differently. So there might be somebody here who likes the cattiness, the, dra the drama, and they like the gossip because they thrive well in it. It speaks to their true nature. And that's lower vibration, of course. Um, somebody hates you just because you're you period. There's no other reason, you know, it's just, it's just that. Um, and you're coming into understanding who you are and they may have already knew someone could be addicted to social media. will do anything for follows, like subscribe, sh shares. This is somebody who's out of touch with reality. So you can be dealing with somebody who's like, extremely superficial. Uh, they could be just taken over by carnality. Okay. Um, let's see. What else do we have for Aquarius? Someone could be a recovering addict. Now, this the, it could be a recovering addict of being a people pleaser. Um, someone who would shop, you know, addicted to shopping. It doesn't always have to be drug and alcohol. It definitely can be. Um, so with a recovering addict, you don't want to be around triggers. You need a peaceful environment. It's so funny because I just explained the six positive signs and the six negative signs. So. Uh, the positive sign, which Aquarius falls in one of the six positive signs, um, they do need peaceful environment, okay? Um, there's somebody here trying to usurp, take your position of power or importance illegally or by force. So there was somebody here trying to take something from you, maybe a good idea that you had or a business, or um, this could even be just your birthright. Someone trying to uh, usurp, just really trying to take anything.
you know well they're not trying to take anything they're trying to take your power and your importance but they're trying to take it by any means necessary um you deserve so much more than i'm giving i'm sorry so there's somebody here who knows that they don't have much to offer you give you it is what it is uh, it doesn't say that they're going to change it just says i'm sorry self-awareness experience of one's own personality or individuality so you might be dealing with someone who is who lacks self-awareness they just don't know how they come off therefore they they continue bad behavior uh they display bad behavior they don't know that the experience they are giving is not one of enjoyment and most times you can even find that some people don't care um they don't care also because they're so out of touch with reality they're out of out of touch with how they're actually coming off uh, they could even be so delusional to think that people enjoy their drama their pettiness their gossip um, you are a good person, therefore I can't let you go. I will never find anyone like you. So you get somebody obsessed with your energy because you are a good person. They know that they won't find anybody like you. Um, they've tried, they've looked, they've had a lot of lovers before you and maybe even a lot after you. And it's it just, you. no one is measuring up, okay? That could be indicative if this person was a self-reflective person that um, maybe you are significant to their life, uh, to their existence. Um, they should treat you differently, okay? Um, outside of wanting to hoard your energy. Okay, um, so this is coming out again. A failure to plan is a plan to fail. So you need to write things down. You need to make a plan. Having it all up in your head is not where it needs to be. It needs to be out on paper um, so that you can manifest, okay? Spell it out, right? Hence the word spell. Somebody doesn't take care of responsibilities, ch uh, child or children, bills, expenses, household tasks. So that we're, we're dealing with somebody who uh, lacks responsibility. So if they lack responsibility over the least, they're definitely not going to be responsible over the great. And Aquarius, you were great in this person's life. So they weren't responsible with you, your feelings, how they treated you. So um, sometimes, you know, if you just start to drill down on people's lives, you can kind of pick up on what you're going to get, you know the type of person you're going to get let's get a few more cards and then we'll close it out so there might be like gang stalking or there's like a, a group of women who don't like you um they talk about you um you may have been on drugs before or someone was on drugs or someone is on drugs they need to seek help um this mean girl click could be headed up by somebody who is on drugs or um it's under the influence. They could have been physically abusive to you. I'm here, like mother. Okay. Um, so this mean girl group, it could be headed up by your mother and she is a druggie. She needs to seek help. And she was physically abusive to you, maybe as a child. Uh, if you're an adult now, I hope your mother is not abusing you as an adult, but if she is, there is help. Um, let's see what else. Is going on for the Aquarius. We got some same sex uh, co connection. Somebody is in definite need of therapy. It could be you, Aquarius. We all need therapy at one point in our lives. Don't be afraid to go ahead and seek that. It makes you better, not, you know, crazy or any of the taboo, um, maybe uh, negative connotations associated with therapy. Talk to somebody. So keep in mind, Aquarius. Uh, psychologists, therapists, counselors, help you with the past, uh, coaches, life coaches, personal and business help you with the now. So if you find that you can't get over something from the past, you might need to seek therapy, counsel, right? All right. So let's see some of you, um, somebody's got secret plans to propose marriage. Either that's you for someone else. We got black witch and then we got white witch coming out. Whoa. So we got, you know, a dynamic here. Um, Somebody, again, trying to usurp, take your importance by force or illegally. So once again, someone could have known who you are. You would get some big spiritual hit download in regards to your life, okay? Um, you might even get some download in regards to uh, somebody that you would never think would even get this type of insight or intel in regards to you and your life and your life's trajectory, because you feel as if this person is not tapped in. So it's like, well, how would they even get that type of intel about me? But 
in order to use, be used by the dark, you have to be of the dark. So if somebody is in low vibration, they can be getting messages from the dark. Um, you could be in the light. I hope you're in the light, Aquarius. Um, so we got we got two different dynamics. We got somebody here who, okay, so this would be somebody you'd be like, they don't even believe in what I believe in. How could they get knowledge of who I am or what I do spiritually or, or whatnot? But you know, seducing spirits is what's coming out to me. Um, you know, so the so these people allow themselves to, um, you know, uh, be seduced by these spirits, and these spirits could be of the dark. This is somebody in complete, absolute low vibration. So this is like they're getting intel about you, because this these two are at war. Okay, spiritual warfare might have been caused against you you were thinking it's the person but it's the entity behind the person so um let's see what else is going on for the aquarius somebody can feel like you're absolutely gorgeous or this is how you feel boo go ahead is what i'm talking about you're in need of some new and real friends um whomever you got around you they're acquaintance people to hang out with people to go to brunch with um you may have a lot of people or you may find that you you shift friend groups a lot and it you know um, it could be because of you at times um, or it could be just because a lot of times you get tired of the bad treatment you know and then maybe you blew up or you blow up um, that's not the way to do it but um you know cause and effect I don't know I don't know but you may find that you're that you're in different friend groups a lot or you're, you're changing out friends yeah Hook up on the weekend. That's what I'm saying. These friends are just for hooking up on the weekend. No, they aren't life friends. And you may feel like they're idiots. Um, or, I don't know. They can feel that you're this way. Intellectual and an idiot. Um, you'd be dealing with someone who's saying they're never getting a divorce. So, um, you could be dealing with somebody who has infertility issues. They can't make anything grow. Um, somebody could be reaping the seeds that they've sown. Negativity. Okay. And now everything in their life is infertile. Again, back to that child abuse. This could have happened in the, of course, in your past, in your childhood. Um, you could be, your child could be suffering from this now. I hope that you are not abusing any child. Um, if you are, it's always time to change. You know, time for change is now, you know, so kind of govern yourself accordingly. Um, all right, let's see. What else do we have for Aquarius? Okay, so somebody made you fall in love with them because it was fun. I feel like they fell in love with you then. They want to tell you that maybe they fell in love with you. Telepathy coming out. You've got a husband who doesn't contribute financially. It's making it hard for you. Or a boyfriend or a baby daddy or whomever doesn't contribute financially. There's somebody who wants to travel with you or you will travel with a boyfriend or a girlfriend on a weekend getaway. Very nice. Um, especially for some of you who've met someone new. Uh, let's see. Physical fight. This flipped out. Somebody does want to fight you. Um, raging or rage. It's like somebody wants to fight you because you, why does this person want to fight Aquarius? You might have some spoiled children um, that maybe you need to get in control of. Why does um this person want to fight the aquarius or these people i don't know why is physical fight here for aquarius we got red with physical fight so somebody is mad why um this could be a sibling eight of wands maybe what you're posting on the internet what you've said what you haven't said this could even be gossip rumor just because your life is shaping up or you're getting everything that you want law of attraction happening with you to you um obstacles being removed in your life other people's money somebody could be concerned about the money that you're making or wow can't make it up the will of fortune someone's concerned about how your life is shaping up it's going in a great direction everything is happening for you pay the source could be someone younger than you someone less evolved someone who's an idiot someone who can't do the mental sparring with you if they wanted to um this is somebody who just um they feel like their life was tough and um your life was easy um, this is somebody here who may have taken you for granted, uh, shut you out, uh, or you shut them out, or you just buckle down and, and continue to work and do the work on yourself. 
This is somebody who wants to fight you because again, um, okay, so this is about spirituality also and graduation. So this, what is driving them is not themselves. It is energy force behind them. So what wants to uh, fight you is that demonic maybe entity um, uh, possession. If this person has allowed, allowed themselves to be possessed. Again, spiritually, um, these demons see who you are. Um, they're using people. That's the, that's the only way they can, you know, get things done. Using people to um, come at you. It's a spiritual warfare. Let's see. Why does this person want to fight you? Because you're just having it your way. And you're just going your own way. You're letting stuff develop for you. Again, not chasing anything. You could be getting some major download. You're going in a new direction. You got the, the world showing up with the fool. Wow. So you closed out cycle. You also could have just shut these people out. Yeah, you went from one dynamic to the next, being maybe unknown to known or from poor to rich, rags to riches, whatever. It's just like you, you some, yeah, newfound wealth. So somebody's mad. They're trying to figure out how it happened for you. How did you mature so quickly, so fast? How the, the seeds you planted, how are they um, taking uh, root or sprouting so, so quickly? Um, why would you shut them out? Uh, this person is self-centered. Again, they don't have a self-identity. They wanted to take yours. They want to fight you because they're jealous of you. Uh, yeah, jealous because you're abundant. Maybe even beautiful. You have more than enough. You know how to get money. You're an independent. You're an entrepreneur. You're a savvy business owner. You're keeping people outside of your home or your heart space. You ain't got time for the drama. You dress well. You look good. You've had a makeover. Um, you're starting your own business. You're promoting yourself. You're putting yourself out there. You do your work how you want to do it on your time. You may even guide others. You're consistent. Um, you care about your body, health. You do the tarot. You can read them. You can read their energy. You've moved on in secrecy and silence. You just don't care no more. Uh, and they want to fight you because you've left them stuck. Okay. They don't have anybody else. This is like narcissism, okay? Somebody was feeding off of you. They were feeding off of you being at the bottom or not having enough or uh, maybe being in need of them or you were the person that they could talk about. Or you were the person that they could um, rag on and now they can't. Who can I rag on now? That the Aquarius, an Aquarius card, Six of Swords has moved on, has uh, moved on in silence and secrecy. You didn't go back and argue with them. You didn't tell them your plans. You just moved on. You left this person in a negative headspace. You left them crying a river of tears. You've left them in their very shallow narcissistic uh, vibration. This is somebody who was hoping that you would stay down for a very long time. Um, they were hoping that you would be without, that you would be in need. Uh, they were hoping that you will always be bind or, or binded or in a bind or bound to uh, negativity, uh, poverty, poverty. I was about to say poverty. I don't know what that is. Um, this is somebody seeing you guide other people. This is somebody seeing you have your way, man. You're living life on your own terms. It, it took a lot for you to do this. Again, coming into self-actualization. I hope that some of you stayed until the end of this reading because it's really coming full circle in terms of you getting this major download of who you are, what you are, especially in a spiritual realm. Understanding that dark forces see your light. They see uh, who you are. And maybe how you're going to help others and awaken others to who they are too, uh, what they can bring to the world, uh, who they belong to. Um, it, it, this is embers in the fire. So you're going to be setting other people on fire about um, their life and the trajectory of their life. And then that person is going to set other people on fire and bring other people to the fold. So this is why you're under or you were under heavy uh, attack, maybe even spell work here. This is what somebody trying to usurp, take your importance, okay? Either by force, your position, or your importance uh, by force. This is somebody who wanted to keep you down. They always wanted to talk down. This is somebody who hates themselves, okay? You look like somebody who hated on them in their past. You, you act like somebody who's better than them, who knows more than them. This is somebody who, again, self-identity, they don't know it. Okay, they're trying to align their identity with so many different things and nothing is sticking. 
um, but they were comfortable in ragging on you or you being the butt of everybody's joke or the butt of their joke. Maybe at a time where you didn't have or you didn't, you weren't doing or it looked like you weren't manifesting, but then things came full circle, full manifestation. What else can we tell Aquarius here? That this looks like um, somebody is just really upset, you know, because you're having it your way. You know, your life is shaping up. You've got some download. You're extremely protected and you have something to offer the world and they don't have that. Yeah. They need to heal, heal, heal. Healing is the answer. This person hasn't healed. They don't know who they are. Okay. The first card you had come out was the Mean Girls Club. So they, this could even be people. This person could be trying to garner people to jump on the bandwagon with them. Like, let's, you know, hate on the Aquarius. Something about the crown. Your spoiled wife or a spoiled. You need to learn what the crown is for you. I don't know. I'm going to look that up. Maybe I'll do a video about that. It could be friends. It could be family. People are jealous. You know, um, they can't get over you. They can't get over how great you are. Wow, okay, maybe I'm jealous of you. Everything is you, you, you. Especially with that four of cups. They just direct everything back to you. They don't have uh, the type of car that you drive because you, you know, um, are, um, you have a man that bought you a car. Uh, they don't wear the type of clothes that you wear or they can't afford the expensive clothes because you, Aquarius, you have somebody who's funding your life, whether it be true or not. You know, it's just like this person, it's just everything is you. Whomever this is wants to be taken off block on social media or you block them from your social media or you need to or they're finding ways to get unblocked. They could be creating new accounts. Um, let's see what else. They just need to apologize, okay? Um, you know what they did last summer, this summer. They need to apologize. Um, you'll forgive them. It doesn't mean that you guys are going to walk off into the sunset, skip off into the sunset and be the best of friends. But it does mean you'll forgive and we'll let bygones be bygones. We'll move on. But until that, no. Yeah, you will not maintain a relationship with them. Um, because they won't come to awareness uh, they won't apologize okay uh, this person can't maintain a relationship either very materialistic they're all about money you know this is somebody here who likes to kind of um, look at what you got and try to see if they can get it they're lazy as hell they could be losing their house or um, losing their relationship the house could be some synonymous with relationship they talk too much they're always talking, saying a lot of nothing. They can be sexually addicted. They have unruly ass children. I hope that's not you, Aquarius. Um, let's see what else. They could be all in the club at night, just club hopping. This also could be indicative of how they deal with relationships. They hop from one relationship to the next. You know, they feel like you've, you've got the best sex ever, and they do mean ever. Um, that's how they evaluate people. They're lying to everyone. You know, they may have contracted an STD. Um, they could be lying to everyone about you. Also saying that you're promiscuous, right? And that you're a club hopper or you hop from relationship to relationship. Um, there's somebody who's saying, let's run away together. You did have earlier, like some uh, travel with boyfriend or girlfriend. Some of you who are in nice relationships. Somebody is book smart. You need to pick up a book. You need to start to learn, okay? You, you gotta read the book. A whole lot of money could come to you once you learn something. Okay, um, we live in a practical world. We have to do practical things. We can't pick up a book, not open it, and hope that we gain all the knowledge from the book by osmosis. It doesn't work that way. We have to actually, you know, do something. Okay, so a whole um, you need to. This also could be indicative of a lot. So that means you need to read a lot, or you read a lot. Again, spoiled children coming out, maybe playing a part in a relationship here. Somebody doesn't want to be with you because your children are, you know, unruly, spoiled. You know, uh, gonna have to get in control of that, especially if 
that person is not the other parent. They're step parent, or they would be a step parent. Um, somebody, once again, Nine of Pentacles is a super independent lady, maybe even a girl boss. There's somebody here who trauma bond with somebody. Um, now we got somebody here who, again, it's coming up again. Somebody does deal with like sex workers and it closed off to love. They either can't keep steady work or steady relationship and they don't value anything. So that could be in love. Uh, advice for Aquarius moving forward. What's the advice for Aquarius? Uh, the death card in the world. We got very good cards. Ascension. Uh, graduation. Marriage. Success. Success is imminent. Bending space and time. Some of you are learning something about maybe um, meditation practices that help you um, bring in your manifestations. You're going to go from one dynamic to the next very quickly. Um, and then what else? It looks like... Um, you go from having to have, from having, have not, to having, okay? Yeah, the hangman, okay? Seeing something from a different perspective, waiting until you get intuitive awareness, until you get knowledge of, express knowledge of when to move or how to do something. Two of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you are going to wait for that person, uh, the right person to come into your life. Oh, this is the advice too. There's somebody here who wants to maybe even um, bring back a relationship. You got the devil at the bottom of the deck. They, it could still be unhealthy. Yeah. But they want your forgiveness. They want. This could still be unhealthy. They haven't changed though. You know, change is extremely hard for them. But uh, they want you to take them out of their karma. They want you to reconcile with them because they see that you're positive. Queen of Pentacles. And um, you you would know how to help them in their life. You would know how to get them out of this place, the devil energy. Oh, they haven't learned. So this is about Saturn. This is about learning lesson a lesson in this life. They still fail to learn the lesson. Um, they just want maybe to, oh, duality. I didn't want to do two different things at the same time. So they want to be like, they want to talk about spirituality, but then they, it's about doing what you want to do first and then spirituality last, you know, that's how this person feels. Um, they don't want to be, they don't want to become evolved. And right now they could be suffering from some negative karma and they have to look at their past experience and they're getting that karma. They know that they need to change their personality, but they're not. This could be a love one romantic partner. Yeah. From the past, this person, just the inability to change. Yeah. They don't want to either. This is ch this is a choice. So they don't want to change. Whomever this is. They just want you to accept. Forgive. Let bygones be bygones. And let's move on. They're now wanting you back. Because. Um, they're getting uh, negative karma here. They're under judgment. Yeah, they're under judgment. Yep, under judgment. Uh, they want forgiveness. They want you to absolve them of all their wrongdoing. Scattering. They don't know where to go. You know, but back to you. Because look, with you, it was all this yellow positivity. Um, it was opportunity to manifest. This could even be somebody manifesting off your energy. Yeah. Um, they were healthier when they were with you not like physically even healthier uh, maybe they yeah 
um, spiritually healthier. I don't know if you like, you know, dropping little gems on them or with them. They may even have had more money or opportunity. Uh, something is stagnant in their life. So we think about stagnant waters. It can grow mold, bacteria. This person isn't growing and they could be kind of going down. They were all of these things great when you were with them. But now they're like dark, deep, stagnant waters because they, they chose wrong. They're choosing to be in toxicity, dramatic situations, a warmonger. They like the sex, drugs, rock and roll. They may have even gotten themselves in something that they can't get out of. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. If it resonates, let me know what part resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website and book your own reading there. Readings are 40% off. Use code 40 off at the website level. Um, I'm not going to name this uh, video. The first person to come up with the best name for this video, I will answer one uh, complimentary question for you. So the, if this go ahead and type the best name for this video down in the comment section and um, hopefully you you're the winner okay and it'll be fun for all of us so I'm not gonna name this so you go ahead and type the best name down in the comment section and then um, I'm gonna choose a winner and you're gonna email me your question and I'm gonna answer it all right this is what I have for you Aquarius um, get your own personal reading again. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, if you took something from the reading, you can always give back. The link is below. Uh, if you want to get your own, uh, if you want to connect with me and get on a discovery call to see how I can help you uh, bring in or usher in more business for an existing business or start your own business using practical and spiritual method um go ahead and get on that discovery call with me all right so you can see if i can be of assistance for you it is complimentary and if you want to be around like-minded individuals every month where we are smashing our goals um, using spiritual and practical methods then go ahead and sign up for the ktmg keep the momentum going um monthly conference call all right all links are below thank you many blessings to you